Hello everybody, welcome to the Matamos chain log, version 10.0. This version is going to be available in 16 of September of 2024. This is a major release, so there are some important changes that you have to take into account. We are no longer supporting new installations of MySQL, so if you are going to create a new installation of Matamos, please use Postgres instead. The app frameworks is now deprecated. That means that if you want to extend Matamos, please use webhooks as last command or auth applications or plugins. Matamos 10 comes with Playbooks version 2. Playbook version 2 is only available for enterprise license Matamos instances. The version 1 is going to keep working in Team Edition without a problem, but any new feature or security update are going to be only in the version 2. Another thing that is important is we are renaming certain things. For example, we have changed channel moderation to advanced access control. The announcement banner is now called system-wide notifications. Collapse reply threats is now threats discussions. System roles is now delegated granular administrations and Office 365 is now enter ID in single sign-on logins. Also, we have included new building plugins. For example, the Microsoft Teams plugin to integrate Microsoft Teams instances with Mattermost. Also, Microsoft Calendar and Microsoft Team Meetings plugins are included, and the new Mattermost Copilot that is for integrating artificial intelligence inside Mattermost. Let's jump into the interface and see the new features. As I said, we are including Copilot as one of the built-in plugins in Matamos. This new plugin is going to allow us to integrate um, AI in Matamos seamlessly. You have to configure it and add uh, your OpenAI instance or your Azure AI instance or whatever you want, even your own local LLM if you want. And once that's configured, you can go to the AI plugin and ask questions like, what is the color of the sun? And the AI is going to reply to that. Not only that, the AI is going to um, allow me to do other tasks like summarizations of threads or even integrate with calls and do summarizations of calls and transcriptions of calls. So all that features are included in the Copilot plugin for the enterprise version. Another feature that we are including is the ability to see the user status in the, in the groups pop up. For example, here I have a people group. If I send a message to that group and see the pop up, I see that now I can see the do not disturb status of the user. Also, another feature that is interesting is now when I send a message to a user that is in a status that is do not disturb, in the direct message I'm going to see that warning there to notice that the user is not available and set the expectations about that. So if I go to the other user and change the status to online, what I'm going to see is that a message is going to be gone. Another feature included in this same place is the fact that whenever you have a user that is in a very late hours in their local time, you can see that here. For example, if I change the time zone of the user to a very late uh, time zone, I can see that the user is now at 3 a.m. So that sets the expectations for me to not expect any reply. Another thing that we have changed is how we show the post in the red hand sidebar. Now we show the post from the bottom up and before we were showing the post from the top to the bottom. Uh, we think this is a more comfortable or more easy to understand uh, way of showing the posts.
in the integration side, we are including now changes in the back stage where you manage your incoming, outgoing webhooks or uh, bots, for example. We are adding pagination there that allow us to manage way more integrations in an easier way. And to finish, uh, another small change that we have included, it's in the info of the channel. You now can see the purpose and the header of the channel right there. And that's it. As always, we have a lot of changes in the source code that are not user facing. If you want to know more about them, check out our chain log in our documentation. So thank you everybody and see you next month.